Hi everybody and welcome to Titanic at the Ontario Science Centre. At 269 metres, this ship was built to be the largest passenger ship of her time, carrying people between North America and Europe. Now, the Titanic became famous when she struck an iceberg and sunk to the bottoms of the ocean floor, four kilometres beneath the surface. There, her remains were scattered creating a perfect time capsule that's almost 100 years old. Let's take a look at a huge wrench that engineers in the boiler rooms on the Titanic would have used. The salt water of the ocean slowly corrodes away the metal over time, much like a car will rust from salts on the roads in the winter. We can see how slowly over time the layers of steel in this wrench are slowly disintegrating and dissolving into the ocean. Here is one of the original door shafts that would have been used to raise and lower the giant doors in the bulkhead of the Titanic. By comparing the different metals it's made up with, both iron and steel, we can see that the salt water corrodes them at different rates. We can see a model here of how this might have looked. Now porcelain and glass are pretty much intact. If we take a look at this toilet, we can see it hasn't really started to corrode at all. The only damage we can see are a few cracks that it would have incurred when it struck the ocean bottom. After 100 years, the glass in these bottles is still pretty well preserved. We can even see that the champagne bottle still has a little something in there. Now the Titanic would have been an incredible draw for deep sea life on the ocean floor. Softer materials would have been devoured in a matter of months. However, the remains we see here were preserved in a leather suitcase. Tannins or special chemicals used in the leather help protect these materials over time. But perhaps the greatest undersea enemy of the Titanic are tiny little bacteria which are floating downstream from underwater volcanic vents. Now these hungry little bacteria are slowly devouring away the hull of the Titanic. Already they've consumed the equivalent of 200 elephants worth of the Titanic's metal, regurgitating the iron into these icicle-like forms called rusticles. Sort of rusty icicles if you put those together. At this rate, scientists believe that within 75 years the Titanic will collapse in on its own structure. Over time, with nature, the Titanic will eventually disappear.